Well, hello, everybody. Um, I hope everybody's having a great day. Okay, this is the final installment of the Sherlock Holmes Detective Journal. Yay, we're almost done. Um, I already drilled my holes and um, punched my holes in my, in my signatures. So that kind of took some time off. What I did was, uh, I don't know if you can see this. I've already got one signature sewn in right there. This is the front. Let me see if you can see that without the glare. I did the 221B and then I made a little door knocker with some wire and uh, a, just a plastic bead. Uh, there we go. Sort of. So it says 221B. And I got the first one sewn in. So it says the game is afoot. All right, so I'm about to sew in the second one. Which is going to be this one. And I did find, or did determine when I was sewing in the first one, that if you're gonna do that, <laughs> I have to take out my tags because the fuzzies just got in the way. So what I did first was I started the middle one. Uh, I think the first one, yeah. I'm going to go through the middle. Make sure. I had to go, I had to adjust my needle size to the original needle I was going to use was way too fat for the uh, holes I was going to use. This is a pamphlet stitch from what I understand and I may not be doing it right but okay now I'm leaving a tail all right I'm going up to the top I find it's much easier having the holes pre-done. Okay, and then I go back down through the middle. Let's see. Come on, there we go. Going back down through the middle. Remember keeping your your this taut, tight, firm, but not enough to pull you know pull your holes out or anything like that. My hands aren't wanting to work today. That. Then go to the next hole. And I believe I did that backwards. But that's okay. I did. But it can be fixed. You can either take it back out or run with it. And me, I'm going to run with it because uh, I don't feel like taking it back out. Oops, no, no, there we go. Now 
Now some leave it open to hang on the outside to hang charms. Um, I'm going to add something different to add the charms. I'm still going to do that, but I'm going to do something different. <clears throat> Now I'm just double knotting that and trimming. Okay, so that's two signatures done. Go ahead and put these back in here. Right there. Okay, two signatures done so far. Now I'm taking the tags out. Now here's one of the charms. This is a really heavy, real magnifying glass. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, it's really heavy, and I got this, oh gosh, I don't even remember where, but I was going to use that in the, there it is, let's see, one, two, three. Now to get that in there a little easier, I wet the end and then I pushed it flat with my between my thumb and my forefinger, held it for a minute. Alrighty, so let's do this. Remembering to leave that tail. Okay. Uh. So I went down from the inside, out, and then back up through the top hole. Okay, this one wants to be persnickerty. There. Okay. I'm going to, I think if I remember right, I'm supposed to go all the way down. Yes, that's what it was. It's been a little bit, and then back up on the outside through the middle. But when you come back up through, you've got the tail on one side of this, 
but when you come back through make sure you come out on the other side so that way when you tie it to knot it tight you've got something to grab onto so there that was what I was missing it's been a little bit since I've tied a journal you know or sewn a journal in I'm really happy with how this has come out. There we go. I really am. All right. And we've got one more, one more signature. I did put this on the back just to flip up. I wanted to use as much of the graphics and stuff that I got from the kit for this. So, okay, now that that's in there, let me put these back in. Huh. Where do they go? There's that one. It looks like I'm going to have to do a little bit more in this third one. I believe that's why these were left loose. Okay. I will put those right there for now. And we will put in the final one. Nope, that's where they went. Okay. So we're going to go in through the center, leave us a tail. Okay, leave us, nope, leave us a tail. And then up through the top, make sure. And see, this is another reason why I like sewing the signatures together before I put them together. It's a lot easier to line up all these holes if they're already stuck together. You know what I mean? So, all right. And then this one's going to go all the way down to the bottom hole. This was one, one of the things that intimidated me the most when I started doing journals was the sewing. I thought, oh my gosh, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. I mean, I could sew, you know, like regular clothes, not very good with patterns, but you know, hey. Um, It's a little trickier when you've got more signatures in. There we go. I just always have to make sure that everything is tight. Ow! Okay. 
And there we go. Okay, now let's put these where they go. We are in the last. I was right, I was going to put something in that. See, I'm not quite finished. But I did want to get these in. Sure, I had another pocket in here. That's not going to work. Okay, well, we need to put some more pockets. Put my needles away. Alrighty. So let's go through this so far. Okay. I'll put that one right there. That'll work. All right, game is afoot. And there's our tie out. I did add a couple belly bands. Okay, that was the first signature. There's those cards I was telling you about. I went ahead and just tied them up. on some of the blank pages I'm going to go ahead and add some more fold outs you know like that okay then there's the third signature I believe I'm going to put that one in here The little ephemera things I can add to this. And then the last signature. That's what was right there. Almost for dot. Let me see, what else can I put in here? Oh, we'll add another little tag. See, I'll stuff this thing with all these leftovers, these Sherlock Holmes leftover pieces. So whoever, whoever, um, you know, buys this will get all of these little leftovers and extras. And I did that when I sold my Graphic 45, uh, fairy box um, all of the leftover um, once upon a springtime um, ephemera and everything went into the box so whoever bought that well I know who bought it but the person who bought that got all of that extra inside there plus some flowers plus some other stuff I, I had that I bought to make the box so it was pretty cool let's see and we've got a flip up here I'm going to flip up here. And let's see, I can put some more stuff right here. Dastardly Deeds. And these leftover tags and things that came with it. Yeah, I can.
can do I can do all kinds of things with that. So I'll leave those there for a minute. And then I got some charms from Tim Holtz Ideology. This one says Lost. That one says Poison. I was going to put those in the charm thing with this. As well as I've got a couple of little bitty keys and I'm going to get a bigger, some bigger keys. Hold on, let me go grab those. I meant to grab those and, and I completely spaced it. So one second. Well, it's one of those things that I guess haven't gotten unpacked yet because I haven't been able to find them. I have a whole drawer full of um, those antique keys. And I cannot find them. Unless I put them with my steampunk stuff. Oh, I'm not seeing them there. Oh, well. I'll find them. But, yeah, so that, for all intents and purposes, is fairly done. There's the four signatures. Now you see what I mean? It's still, I still have to do the enclosure, or the clasp, you know, to keep it closed, which, let me see, where's the, nope, that's not it. <sighs> hmm. Not quite sure how I want to do that. I wish I had one of those big bites, those crocodiles, so I could make a hole on both sides with something to close it. I still need to do the charm, which I'm going to do. But if I can't find my keys, that is going to stink. So it just may take me a little bit longer to get that done than I was hoping. But that's okay. Oh, there's one. I can always use this one. See, there's one of my little brass keys. I have some bigger ones that I was hoping to use with this, as well as these itty bitty ones. Whoops, found another needle. Need to put that in my little needle thing. Okay, there we go. So how do I want to do this? Do I want to use silver? Silver and some sparkle. I like that sparkle. See, I keep a Brillo pad. It's not wet or anything. But I keep a Brillo pad in my stash and I'll take my spray bottle and I'll spray just the corner of it. So when my scissors get gummy, you know from cutting tape or glued pieces, this little Brillo pad is a perfect little thing to get. Look at all that gum. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, my light's not very good. See all that icky on the end here? That's from, you know, cutting through excess tape and uh, random things that are sticky. That'll usually gum up your scissors. See, and it only took just a minute, not even. And all of that is gone. See that? All of that gum, that 
goopy stuff. And then uh, take a little towel. And just wipe it off. I'm wiping it off because the Brillo pad itself, the steel wool, leaves little bitty shavings, you know. And see that gum, let me see, right in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, that's all sticky, gluey stuff. So I just take my, there it is. Just be very careful when you're doing this so you don't cut your fingers up. Because I pretty much filleted my index finger one year. And I was just trying to get the staples out of a, you know, to bend up for a picture frame. And, uh, okay, so let me... Wipe that off. And there we go. See? All gone. All clean. And this is a cheap Dollar Tree pair of scissors. That's why I'll use this pair to cut cardboard and like tape and glue and things like that. And I've got my, my fabric scissors that I keep. The really good ones. These are also um, fabric and I'll put on it no paper but this one says non-fabric so I don't get it I don't remember what I did that one for but I do keep extras for different things same with my paintbrushes I'll use one particular paintbrush for my glues and stuff so I don't mess up all kinds of, of uh, all of my paintbrushes just for one for one thing Yep. Well, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a little bit until I can finish finding what I need. And then I'll come back and work on making a chunky charm for the journal and see if I can't figure out what I'm going to use to close this. So I will be back in a bit. Okay. Now, I am i haven't really watched many videos and I'm not really sure how to do it, how to make a chunky charm. But this is kind of what I'm going for. So let me just kind of, I'm just kind of winging it, you know. I cut a, uh, a few lengths of, and it can be any length. That doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. Mine's about 18 inches long of different fab or threads and twines and Fibers. That's the word. Fibers. Good grief. Use your big words, Kelly. Use your big words. All right. And what I'm doing is I'm just tying charms and doodads and stuff at varying lengths. You know, through the throughout them, kind of leaving, oops, kind of leaving the center alone. Uh, there's the key. I'm going to throw that in there, but I'm going to tie it around. Let me see. See, like this one, I just tied it halfway. The poison one, just a partial way. The lost one, partial way. See, there's the there's the charm for that one. This one, I'm probably going to use this. Now, obviously, I'm not going to tie something to each one, and I'm not tying it at the very, very ends because I'm not sure how long this is going to be, to be honest. So. Now, if I feel I need to add more, I will. I even got a piece of chain that 
I thought would look really nice mixed in with that. And then I'll grab it from the center and see, kind of fold it down in half. Whoops. Okay, well that didn't fold very well. Let me see. There we go. All right. I'm not done, so we've got these itty bitty ones. So let's throw let's throw this in here with these. Now some of this is not going to be really blatantly obvious, which is okay. Oops, because um, I've always liked looking at something, not seeing everything, and then maybe you know later on down the road look at it again and catch something I didn't catch before. That's the fun. Okay, this one is too little to want to do that. Unless I just stick it through the big hole. Ha! Ah, that's what she said. Okay. There we go. And let's make this a little bit longer. I'm going to put both of them on here. That way... They don't disappear totally. Wish I could find my container that's got all my keys in it. I'd put a bunch of keys on it. All right, Kelly. Shink. There we go. Yeah, all the fuzzies are going to kind of make that disappear. So where's my scissors? I need to cut some of this away. Just around the key itself. It can stay fuzzy everywhere else. There we go. Okay, there's that one. And then there's another one. You throw it in here, tie it off, and then I will get a couple of large beads that I really like. To kind of add some weight. Same with this one. I'm going to there. I'm going to cut the excess fuzzy around this. Go get them big beads. I'll be right back. Okay, I got a couple of these. Let's see what else I can add to it. Ooh, I like that one. Let me see. A blue one. That one might work. Maybe a couple littles. All right. Is there anything in this one we might can use? No, not really. Okay. 
this is just two of my containers. I've got, I think, four all together. Not very many, but it's enough for me. So we've got all of these. Alrighty. That's the one. Yeah, we haven't used the green one yet, so. There we go. Put that on that end. Hi, baby. How is you today? My grandson came home. Hi, baby. I said, how is you today? Oh, good. I got to clean up that mess that I said I was going to clean. Well, thank you. See what we got before we add any more. We'll pick them up in the middle, let them hang. Eh, it's not really I don't like that there, so we'll cut that off. Not really super noticeable. And now I'm just trying to measure them up. Grief. That was loud. Okay, it's a little bit better. Um, Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. Yeah. Needless to say, they didn't do it anymore. Uh, I don't know if they did or not. I wasn't on that boat any longer. He was pretty good right there. Well, you're not looking at anything. Okay, now I tied them all together with this piece right here, all right? Since I got them right where I want them, I am going to put this one chain in here. And I don't remember how I was going to do it with the chain. I think the chain was going to come up here. I know what I need. I need some jump rings. Or not. I'm not sure how I want to do that. Let me get these extras out of here. But I'm not quite happy. I want a little bit more on it. So, I'm going to I'm going to thread this one through here. Or not. Because it's a big one. Maybe not that one. Let's put this one through. There we go. That one fit fairly nicely, I would say. I like that. It gives it a little bit more oomph. I don't think I'm going to add the blue though. Mm, let me see. the extra long pieces. It's, it's all just a crapshoot, you know? You just kind of do what you do when you do it. My whole thing is wanting to put it right there, which means this one's too long. Okay. I'll just work with it and play with it and work with it and play with it until we get it right. And let's see. Okay, I shrunk that one a little bit. The key is a little bit longer than I want it, so let's pull it up. There we go. And I think what I might do I know what I'm going to do. Now that all of that is fairly, I'm going to cut off some of the excess. There we go. I'm going to take some wire. twist and twist and twist and twist until it can't twist no more. I 
I don't remember what gauge this is. Uh, I believe it's uh, maybe a 16 gauge. Uh, it's not super thin, so it's not like super easy to work with, but it's not impossible either. Now I've got a base to to work with to hang it. I need a stronger maybe not. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here, guys. Not quite sure how to do this, but I'm going to wing it.
Okay, we got the chunky charm hanging on the end. And I believe I'm going to use this chain to close it. I haven't quite figured out how yet, but I believe I'm going to. Um, these came out a little bit longer than I wanted, so I may just lose, like, tighten them up, make them a little bit shorter. But for all intents and purposes, okay, for all intents and purposes, my journal is done. So, I want to thank you so much for joining. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support, emotional and crafty wise. Okay, I do need to cut this excess off. Uh, there we go. Um, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, click the little bell icon if you want to see more or get notified when I post more. Uh, I hope you like this. Um, if you're interested in purchasing this, um, leave me a comment down below. Um, oh, wow, I had a brain fart. All right, yeah, but leave me a comment down below and I will PM you through Facebook, okay? Uh, or you can PM me through Facebook. My, uh, my Facebook group is Coffee Cup Crafts and Conversation, I believe. I don't even remember anymore. That's so funny. Uh, but it's in the link down below. So <laughs> show me some love. I show you some love back. You sub to me and I sub back. So you know the drill. I want everybody to have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. And remember, always, always, always try and find the humor in life. Because if you don't, life sucks. Period. Uh, everybody, have a great day and God bless. Thank you.